Hi everybody. Right, I thought I'd make an extra video because I did a video on this thing already, but this is the very excellent, very excellent um, the Mini 1300 uh, analyzer. Absolutely brilliant piece of kit, which I did a very brief description of on another video. But one thing that I uh, actually missed out, uh, and it comes with all these goodies in here as well. I mean, I've added a couple of extra adapters, but like you get those. You get these three up here, which is a N-Type to SMA male. Hang on, let's pop that over there. You get an N-Type to an SMA male, one of them. And then you get reverse polarity male N-Type again. BNC, I don't know, that was one of mine. But I've added some extra ones. Um, comes with N-Type on the top anyway. But then you get this little packet of gizmos here, which uh, a couple of them are extra. A couple of these little things here. They're dummy loads, basically. Now this is the important thing. Like A lot of people, when they buy uh, analyzers, they think they're just going to work straight out of the box. Which, for the most part, ones like MFJ and cheaper clones of that, they do. But this one doesn't. When I got it, I thought it was wonderful and it worked perfectly. I mean, look at that. I mean, isn't that nice? Yeah? And it worked absolutely perfectly on HF. But it didn't work very well on VHF and UHF. In fact, it was absolutely terrible. And what... Oops, I turned it off. What, I, what you need to do is calibrate it. So if I go to, if I bring my little camera over the top here, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Alright. Okay. I shall just reduce me and increase interesting part of video. Right. This is, uh, oh, this is terrible, uh, terrible, uh, production but like nobody said I was uh, like from Hollywood so here we go right so you got a configuration there so you're going to click on that I believe that's the one if I remember rightly calibration yep right hardware calibration I never did it and frankly I don't think you need to do it right this one the OSL calibration, you need to use the calibration kit. So you see, there you go. You've got your 5 ohm, your 50 ohm, and you can change this. You can change them to whatever you want. Cancel. Oh. Well, it's open anyway, so that's fine. Um, but you can change them to um, whatever you want. If whatever the dummy loads you have, if you haven't, you don't want to use the ones that are supplied. I just made mine a 50, a 5, and an infinite. Uh, the ones that I was supplied with, I was a bit unsure of. I got a 50, and I, like, you know, I think it was set up to actually do it for a 300 ohm, 5, 50, and 300. But we didn't have that, so we just did 5, 50, and infinite. So that was easy enough. So you see, it's doing 48, 49. You've got to do these for each one so you take your little dummy load out of there for the correct amount 5 ohms so if you were doing the 5 ohm one then you connect the 5 ohm one using your little um, N type to SMA adapter you don't put it on the VNA socket and don't go there it goes on the main the main one at the top this one here right so you put your 5 ohm load on there and then you would with your big fat finger you would go touch that 5 ohm and then it would start doing what it's doing now and then when it gets to 99 it goes that one's done and it's open anyway because it's got oops it's got it's got nothing on the top of it anyway look see except that lens cover so yeah you you put it on there but if you don't do that, 
If you don't do that, then it will not work properly on VHF and UHF. It'll be rubbish, and probably SHF as well. HF it just seemed to work fine, but I could not figure out why I had an antenna that worked beautifully uh, on the 77s band was coming up with such terrible SWR readings. And then I did the calibration and you know, lo and behold it worked perfectly. So there you go. That's just a quick additional one to the other video which I, I to be honest with you, I didn't even know about it at the time. I found out shortly after I made that video. So I hope this helps. Please um, like and subscribe. So which camera is that one going to be on now? Yeah, like and subscribe this thing because they really are they really are nice I mean, you know so compact in a box absolutely brilliant bits of kit the mini 600 was was good before it but this one up to 1300 megs you can't argue with that can you anyway hope to see you in the next video like subscribe click the bell make me a happy chappy 73s from the chaos shack bye bye